The disappearance of Gabby Petito has taken another tragic turn, with authorities reporting they found the remains of the YouTuber after her family reported her missing on September 11th. Let's get into it. On Tuesday, it was officially confirmed that the body found earlier this week near a campsite in Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming was in fact Gabby Petito, and the coroner's office has determined her manner of death to be homicide. The specific cause of death is still yet to be confirmed. Gabby's disappearance during a cross-country van life road trip made national headlines after she was last seen in Utah with her fiance, Brian Laundrie, but he had made it back home in Florida in Gabby's van with no sign of Gabby. Gabby and Brian had been sharing moments from their trip on YouTube and Instagram. After the tragic confirmation, Gabby's family took to social media to share heartbreaking tributes. Her brother shared a photo of her standing in front of a mural of wings, captioning the post, quote, I don't even know what to say. I'm at a total loss. My heart is shattered. Hashtag justice for Gabby. Her father shared another beautiful photo of Gabby standing in front of another wing mural, captioning the photo, quote, Gabby Petito, she touched the world. Now, even more information from the days leading up to Gabby's death are coming to the surface. According to E! News, Gabby sent a text to her mother regarding her grandfather on August 27th, which was the same day authorities say her phone stopped working. Gabby's mom described the message as odd and didn't think that it was actually sent from Gabby since she never referred to her grandfather as Stan. Gabby was filed as a missing person on Saturday, September 11th, 10 days after Brian returned to Florida with her car. At this time, Brian is still a person of interest in the case when earlier it was reported that Brian was also missing. However, Gabby's family shared a statement via their lawyer that said, all of Gabby's family want the world to know that Brian is not missing, he is hiding, Gabby is missing. As the hunt for Brian continues, people have continued to share information with authorities to help find him. One possible lead came through earlier this week as someone reported that a man fitting Brian's description and wearing a backpack similar to his was spotted on a trail camera in the wilderness of Baker, Florida on Monday. The man, named Sam Bass, shared the photo and captioned it, quote, I'm not saying this is the guy, but whoever was on my trail camera this morning in Baker, Florida strongly fits the description of Brian Laundry. He added, authorities have been contacted, but people in the Northwest Florida area be on the lookout. The area where the photo was taken is about 500 miles from Brian's home. As of now, however, authorities say they have searched the area extensively and did not find anyone sharing, quote, there are no known possible past or current connections between laundry and anyone in this area at this time to follow up on. During their time in Utah, police pulled the couple over after an onlooker reported a domestic dispute. The caller who died dialed 911, said that he saw Brian, quote, slapping Gabby. However, the police let the couple drive away and made no charges or arrest at the time, and details around what transpired next during their trip are still unknown. As more information comes to the surface, we'll be sure to keep you updated on this unfortunate and heartbreaking story. Here at Clever, we are devastated to hear about this tragic turn of events, so we're sending all of our love and condolences to Gabby's family, and you know, as more information about this case becomes available, I know a lot of emotions are gonna be coming up for all of us, so feel free to share your love, condolences, thoughts in the comments down below, support each other. For now guys, I'm your host, Carly Henderson. You can find me on social media at Carly Henderson underscore, and I'll see you soon.